This, yeah, this well, we were uh, we were asleep in bed, and uh, and I heard a, a crash of glass. I came downstairs, and there's glass all over the living room, and someone had thrown a brick through the through the front window. I have my best men working to find the person who did this. A criminal cannot be allowed to break into Wait, the man. home of a public servant. You're putting me on the mayor's case. I don't know what to say. Slow down, rookie. The case I'm giving you involves a regular civilian. Another break-in. Small fish compared to this. All right, fine. Who's the unlucky bastard? Unlucky lady. I want you to meet her someplace where she feels safe. To some people, this is the most dangerous they've ever been in. Don't shrug this off, detective. There are no small parts in this play. Jane Kelly. The red-headed dame wanted to meet at a bar of all places. Said she needed to loosen up a bit. Inside, my place was trashed. I mean, there wasn't a stone that went unturned. But nothing was taken. Not even my gun inside the nightstand. You carry? No. But a girl's gotta protect herself when she's living alone. Absolutely. Well, it sounds to me like somebody was looking for something. You have any idea what that might be? My thought was that they were searching for something valuable, but I don't keep cash in the house. No fine art, not even a TV. I'm unemployed at the moment, so I try to live within my means. You pissed off anybody lately? Maybe have somebody that might want to mess with you? Not that I know of. I mean, maybe my housekeeper's sick of cleaning my shit, but if she wanted to steal something, she would have done that a long time ago. You have a housekeeper? Didn't you just tell me you were broke? Unemployed. And I hate cleaning. Something was off about that cat. A little too mysterious. And a little too calm after having her house case like that. For now though, this housekeeper was my next lead. You can be honest, you're not in any trouble. I mean, I don't know what to say. Nothing bad has happened. I've been finding extra bottles in the trash, but I think she's just been extra stressed recently. Maybe if she wasn't sleeping with somebody else's man. Oh my yeah, god, I told you to keep your mouth shut! I'll say whatever the hell I want, my damn- Alright! Calm down. Both of you. Now tell me a little bit more about this affair. Miss Kelly has been telling me to go home early recently, but I didn't think much of it. She pays me the same, so I don't care. Uh, that's fair. But the other day, I did come a little early, so I sat in my car for a bit. Suddenly, I see the door fling open, and this man comes running out, goes to his car, and is out of there in a rush. And what makes you think that he's cheating on his lady? The way that man ran out of the house, he had someone waiting for him at home, and it was the look on his face that really gave him away. The excitement. I try not to come up with stories in my head when I don't need to. I only know what I need to know, and what I need to know is the truth. Nothing more. Still, it's hard not to get wrapped up in it, especially when you're the one sitting alone for hours on end, the past just taking up the passenger seat. Worst part of the job, these stakeouts, especially when you're giving up all your vices. No small players was right. Imagine my surprise finding out the mayor was the dirty dog I was looking for. It started to feel like a lot to take on by myself. I was about ready to hand this case back over to the chief, but something was gnawing at me. Maybe I didn't want to give up so soon. Maybe I felt like I had something to prove. Or maybe I just hated being lied to. I gave Jane Kelly a call demanded answers. She very kindly invited me over for a drink. Said I needed to loosen up a bit. It's time to come clean, Jane. Sleeping with the mayor seems like something you shouldn't leave out. I'm a journalist. 
We have to leave things out sometimes. I thought you said you were unemployed. I'm freelance. And what's the difference, really? But what else did you leave out? Well, if you want all the juicy details, I met the mayor one day for an interview. He took a liking to me, and let's just say the correspondence never stopped. Well, so much for journalistic integrity, huh? You really want to talk about integrity? What the hell is that supposed to mean? I've done a little digging of my own. Oh, you've had quite the rap sheet. Peddling narcotics, gang affiliations. I heard you even cheated on your poor wife. Sorry, ex-wife. You don't know shit about me. But that's all okay now, isn't it? You're a straight edge detective. You're not gonna get under my skin, Miss Kelly. Now enough about me. Who was involved in the break-in at the mayor's house? You must be pretty close to him by now. Yet you seem to only exist in the shadows. That's a good place to be if you're just trying to cause trouble. I have my reasons for keeping him close. But I don't know who broke into the house. And if you're any good at your job, you'd figure this out soon. He's been getting antsy. I beat feet all the way home that night. And over my head, fresh out of Leeds and not enough of that shitty liquor to give me a buzz. Hello? I'm sending you a pin. Meet me there at 11, alone. Don't be late. Who's this? My Hail Mary. Without any other leads, I had to trust this mysterious caller. Well, that's certainly a look. Darling, it's been far too long. Your father has been a real pain as of late. Hold this. My arms are getting tired. Oh, yeah? Well, you must tell me about it. There's almost too much to say. He misplaced some old files the other day and completely lost his marbles. Threw a brick through his own window just to cause a fuss about it. Is that so? Oh, goodness, yes. Thankfully, he thinks I'm far too ditzy to be involved in any way. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine the blame lies with all of his mistresses. Well, I mustn't keep you. Stay out of trouble, okay? The MacGuffin I didn't know I was searching for. Bad business, shady emails, kitty porn. All the usual markings of a corrupt politician. I drove down to the station as quickly as I could. The last time I was this paranoid, I was on the other side of the law. But the knot in my stomach felt just the same. <laughs> the hell's going on here? I'm taking you off the case, Detective. Miss Kelly tells me you're unfit for the job. Unfit for the job, huh? Well, I just blew this case wide open. Blackmail on the mayor, that's what was stolen. And there was no break-in. It was all staged. Hold up. What do you mean it was staged? The mayor broke into his own house so he can use the city's dirty cops to find this. Whoever broke into Jane's house was looking for blackmail. I hate to say it, but she's innocent. Don't try it. Put your hands up. Jane? What are you doing? The sickest shit I've seen out there doesn't happen on the streets. It happens in the offices looking down on them. You take out the mayor, some other sellout will take his place. More of that journalistic integrity of yours, huh? I know how you feel, but this isn't gonna solve anything. In 30 seconds, you're gonna be cut down by more bullets than you can even imagine. Now put the gun down. It's not worth your life. 30 seconds? No one in the city works that fast. If you want to change anything around here, you gotta play just as dirty as they do. I'm gonna need that folder. You know I can't do that. I know. You know, I may be a shitty journalist, but I gotta give it to you. You made a pretty good detective.